All right, it's time to redeem myself. I just got to get him out of the woods somehow. Oh, I know how. What's up, everybody? My name is Scott, and you're watching Kentucky. Ah, that didn't take long. I knew you were out there. Guess what? Time for the rematch. Bam! Super quick draw that time. Got the short barrel 357 Magnum. Where did you get two 460s from? Gosh darn it. Well, now this is just kind of embarrassing. I, you know what? We're just going to pretend that this never happened. I was never here. Forget all about it. What's up everybody, my name is Scott and you're watching Kentucky Ballistics. We're back out on the range and today we're gonna try out some combat revolvers. Here recently I was encountered by the Tactical T-Rex. I tried to retrieve my 14 inch barrel 460 and it just didn't work out the way I wanted it to. Smith & Wesson saw this and they said, hey, maybe you wanna try out something with a shorter barrel. So they sent these over to try out instead. This is the Smith & Wesson Model 66 Combat Magnum and this is the Smith & Wesson Model 69 Combat Magnum. The Model 66 is chambered in 357 Magnum and holds six rounds, and the Model 69 is chambered in 44 Magnum and holds five rounds. They're both double action or single action, have adjustable rear sights and 2.75 inch barrels. They're the exact same, except one is 357 Magnum and one is 44 Magnum. I'm really excited to try these out, so let's get started. I've got four shoot steel steel targets set up. We're about 12 yards back, and we're gonna start out with the Smith & Wesson Model 66 chambered in 357 Magnum. And we're gonna be using some Underwood ammo. These are 357 Magnum, 125 grain full metal jackets. And I know what you're wondering right now. You're like, Scott, why do you have on body armor? Well, they're combat magnums. I felt like it was appropriate. Okay, I think I'm gonna start out with the green target. I'm gonna figure out where my point of aim is. I'm gonna aim for the first O in shoot. Okay, we're hitting about the same spot. Okay, so I'm aiming right underneath the first O in shoot, and I'm consistently hitting a little to the left, so I know that this revolver is gonna be hitting a little to the left all day long. That was six, right? Yep. Give it the old Paul Harrell slap. <laughs> That's awesome. Next up is the model 69 chambered in 44 Magnum. We're gonna be using some Underwood ammo, 44 Magnum, 245 grain full metal jackets. This one should kick a little bit harder. Gonna see where my point of aim is again real quick. I'm gonna aim for the first O and shoot on the orange target. All right, a little bit to the left with this one too. <laughs> so both the Model 66 and the Model 69 are pulling to the left just a little bit. It could be me, it could be the ammo, could be the rear sights, regardless, it's not a big deal. Man, that's awesome. Now let's try one in each hand. Don't know how many rounds we shot. <laughs> I forgot, we gotta do it one more time or it doesn't count. <laughs> That's enough steel targets. Time to blast a few things. So now I'm gonna be using some Underwood ammo, 357 Magnum, 158 grain jacket at hollow points and some 44 Magnum, 300 grain jacket at hollow points. I'm going to shoot the two bottles on the left with 357 Magnum and the two bottles on the right with the 44 Magnum. Whoa. Try out the 44 Magnum. Dang. <laughs> and 44 Magnum. 
Actually, you know what? We're probably going to have to go back to the full metal jackets for just a minute because we're going to shoot these cinder blocks. 357 Magnum on the left. Woo! 357 Magnum on the left. Woo! That punched a hole right through that block. Now 44 Magnum on the right. Goodness. Let's go check that out. 357 Magnum did not make it through the other side. Just punched a hole through the front and there is a piece of the lead. 44 Magnum also did not make it through the back. <laughs> and there is the round. All right, well, who's gonna crumble first? 44 Magnum wins. <laughs> One more shot out of there. Goodness, 357 Magnum's having some trouble. We go. That's better. I'm gonna dump that off there. Nice. Clean that up later. I haven't shot shaving cream in a while. Let's try that out. 357 Magnum on the left. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. No, not camera. <laughs> All right, well, might as well finish up. <laughs> oh my goodness. Ah, my poor camera. <laughs> Let's go clean up the camera. <laughs> Look at the camera. <laughs> oh man, whoops. I normally shoot these last, but uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and clean off the table. Put you there, and we'll put you there. <laughs> we got them both at the same time. All right, I think you know what time it is. It's watermelon time. <laughs> Gonna scoot that off the table. Camera's still good? Yeah, camera's still looking good. I'm sure you already noticed, but I'm shooting 357 Magnum in my right hand now and 44 Magnum in my left. I'm just curious to see how it feels. 357 Magnum on the left. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Mm, mm. Now 44 Magnum on the right pineapple. Woo! <laughs> that took the top right off that thing. Pineapple still looks pretty good. I don't know if I have anything left to shoot. Actually, I do. We're gonna finish up with some clay. We haven't shot clay in a long time. Ew, this one's white clay. I'm gonna move this camera around to the front so we can see the reactions in the clay. I'm gonna shoot the tan clay on the left with the 357 Magnum and the white clay on the right with the 44 Magnum. Oh my goodness. Okay, well, 44 Magnum is probably going to be a little worse. Whoa! Okay, well, pretty big difference just then. 357 Magnum punched a pretty big hole through that clay, but uh, 44 Magnum didn't really leave any clay at all. Goodness, get a pretty good reaction out of the 357 Magnum, but uh, 44 Magnum 
really did a number on that clay. <laughs> Well, that's going to be it for today's video. I had a lot of fun with these combat magnums. Which one was your favorite, the 357 Magnum or the 44 Magnum? Let me know in the comment section down below. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, do me a favor and hit that like button. And if you're not subscribed to Kentucky Ballistics, do yourself a favor and hit that subscribe button. Also, make sure you hit the bell for notifications. YouTube doesn't always notify you when I upload new videos. The bell's not a guarantee, but at least you tried. Also, make sure you're following me on Patreon, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Links to all those can be found in the description down below or on my website, KentuckyBallistics.com. Again, my name is Scott. Thank you so much for watching Kentucky Ballistics, and I'll see you next time.